Hey, it's Coach Ben from Soccer Entrepreneur. In today's video, I know the headline's pretty funny, why soccer camps suck, or why most soccer camps suck, um, but I wanted to create something for all soccer coaches out there to where you can create soccer camps that are beneficial for players, but I'm gonna show you examples of things that I've seen in the past, especially the last eight, nine years, where I know some of these camps are just designed to make money. Um, they're not designed for player development. So I'm gonna walk through some of these examples and then I'm gonna tell you how you should structure this in a way where players are really maximizing their time in your camps and they are getting better. And this is going to help more players come back to your camps next summer. So here's a quick example. I remember uh, this was about two years ago. I'm not gonna name the camp that I'm talking about, but I went to a pretty well-known camp. And this is where it's just packed, filled with players. There's hundreds of kids there. There's probably 12, I would say 12 players per coach. And you would think that that's a good ratio uh, for a camp. And I'll explain later why that's not. But the thing that I saw was a lot of players that are there are just standing around. They're watching the coach talk, they're watching the, the coach do, you know, show examples of what to do, and there's a lot of dead time. And this means that there's no development happening when players have a ball. Every player in your camps should be constantly moving. They, they should be constantly touching the ball. Um, th there shouldn't be a lot of sitting and watching and, you know, standing around. There needs to be a lot of movement. It needs to be high intensity. This is the thing that helps players get better. But as far as the, the coaching ratio, 12 to 1, I just don't think that's good enough to give players hands-on development because if I'm a coach, if I'm trying to talk to one player, there's 11 other players that are doing whatever they want while I'm trying to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation. And this is why for me, I like the idea of smaller camps where it's more exclusive, where it's more hands-on, where you can give more attention to the players. So if you have a, a big camp where there's too many players there, there's not enough coaches, you're gonna see a lot of unhappy kids that aren't getting attention. And this is what I see all the time at some of these camps I've gone to, um, just because I know that they're not getting the attention that they need to truly develop. And uh, I have a, a, really a million other examples of things that I've seen at, at camps or clinics um, that I just don't think are beneficial for player development. And that's really what I'm about. If I'm not actually helping the player get better, what is, what is the purpose? Why are they even training with me if they're not getting better? Um, and this is why, like I said earlier, I know private training and small group training and having clinics and camps maybe where there's more coaches there um, or there's less players there, this keeps it more exclusive where players can learn in a closed environment. And I love that idea just because I know how it was for me when I was younger. Anytime I went to team training or if I ever went to a camp or a clinic, there would be way too many kids there and it would be hard for me as the player to concentrate and get that one-on-one -on -one attention from my coaches. So knowing this, I wanna see how you would structure your camp. So below this video, uh, comment and let me know how you have your camp set up. If you need help setting up a exclusive clinic where you can maybe have 10 kids come and that's it. And it's maybe you and another coach or it's just you, uh, but you have it set up in a way where Every player who's there is highly involved. Everybody's active. No one's standing around. These are the types of clinics I do, and I know those are more beneficial for the player with their development. So if you have questions about that, comment below this video. If you want to learn how to start a clinic business or a private or small group training business uh, for soccer, go ahead. There's gonna be a little light that flashes across the screen here. That's a link to my book called The Startup Soccer Academy. This is going to show you how to start your own soccer academy even if you have zero players right now. But I've had hundreds of coaches now who've gone through that book. They've seen great results. A lot of these coaches now are stepping into training as a full-time career. And that's my starting point there. So go ahead, click that. There's gonna be a link in the description below as well. The link is soccerentrepreneur.com book. That'll take you to a free preview of what's inside the book. And you can go grab that right now. All right, I'll see you on the next video.